what's going on Fox and welcome to your 40th JavaScript tutorial in which we'll be discussing more on regular expressions and if you are here like uh, blind sitting and have no idea what the heck is regular expressions and what the heck is going on so I do recommend you to go back into my playlist and watch the very last tutorial which is the 39th tutorial where I started with regular expressions with you guys so now let's get started with regular expressions so in the last tutorial we learned about what regular expressions are and how they work and in this tutorial let's look at an example so for example let's create a string mm -hmm. my string uh, let's say goddamn is goddamn <laughs> so that's kind of a rhyme, uh, rhyme. and now let's create another string Uh, let's say it. I am a programmer. I have no life, and that's kind of actually true. <laughs> so now, let's say I want to mm, check whether is word is available in the sentence down here. So one way would be to check index of, but just forget that because in this uh, mini series we would be learning about regular expressions and to give you the most simple example of regular expressions you don't have to think about index of because obviously that could be done with index of but we are here to learn regular expressions so to create a regular expressions okay so first of all uh, I should tell you that just like we did uh, create objects in two ways in JavaScript. First way is the object literal by using two curly braces, it creates an object. And the second way is by using the new keyword to create an object, which is a constructor function. Similarly, in regular expressions, we have the regular expression literal and the constructor function. Uh, let's look at uh, take a look at two for literal one we have regular expression literal and for the constructor one we have this constructor function so for the literal one what we have is we have a forwarding slash then your expression then we have another forward slash and that's pretty much it so we have now created a regular expression in literal format and for the constructor function format we have an object regexp now this stands for regular expression and in the arguments it takes the expression as a string so we have let's say expression down here so there's pretty much no difference between these two but for performance issues I would go with this and while creating dynamic uh, regular expressions I would go with this and I'll explain the reason in my upcoming tutorials but for now for the sake of simplicity let's ignore this second one the constructor function one and let's go with the expression literal let's name it regex so it's kind of looks fancy and now to test a string against a regular expression what you need is you need a string method called a search now string method search kind of works like this way let's say I have our result uh, as my string dot search now this is a string method so it would be accepting a string dot search and in the parenthesis down here it requires a regular expression either in the quotes format or as passed as a variable so we already have a regular expression in the uh, variable regex so here we go and now let's see what this result got so let's do document dot write result and now let's reload this on browser okay so we have got a negative one and that is because oh, oh sorry I forgot to replace this expression with my own one so in this expression down here let's say I want to search for the is keyword as I told you earlier 
so let's write is as an expression and remember no quotes around this and do forwarding slash so that javascript knows that it isn't a variable but is an expression a regular expression so now let's save it and let's reload this and we get 9 as a result and what does that 9 symbolize here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ninth. so this is word begins at ninth position so that's a pretty much one method in regular expressions but we have a lot more and we don't often use the search but it was kind of necessary for you guys to explain because this is the most simple or uh, this is the simplest regular expression method for you guys to understand and to basically adopt or take in your mind what regular expressions are and using regular expressions you could create your powerful programs and could save your code a thousand lines from validation so that's how regular expression works and in front of you is a kind of hello world regular expression so i'll see you then in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching this video